Hey everyone, so I got this in the mail today. It's a little Ryobi inverter rated for 150 watts. Runs on the Ryobi batteries. Thought it would be pretty cool. Also has some USB uh, plugs on it. I bought it online. It was cheaper and uh, said it was an open package. When I got it, and plugged it in, nothing works. I even plugged a lamp into it. It won't turn the lamp on. So one thing to keep in mind with these, a lot of people are going to buy them. They're not going to understand electricity and what power ratings there are like this is rated for 150 watts it says right here so i'm sure somebody had it and plugged in you know who knows a microwave or something into it and just burned it up and obviously you look at it and you think well there's got to be some kind of uh, circuit protection a fuse somewhere and i thought well this has got on off and reset maybe it's all electronic so i opened it up and i'll show you what i found all right, so here you can see everything. And first thing you should notice, the fuse right here, an automotive blade style fuse. It's rated at uh, 25 amps and it's blown. I verified that with my meter as well that it's open. So I'm gonna go to the store and get a 25 amp fuse and solder it in and hopefully that's all it is. All right, so I got the fuse changed. It's a 25 amp fuse that actually soldered in place and it's on some really thick uh, pads so you need quite a bit of heat to get it off. I used some um, soldering wick to get the old solder off then just applied new solder to it. Here's the fuse I put in its place and now I get a green light. The LED light turns on. This humidifier here is rated for 20 watts. So it should work just fine. Turn it all the way up. Turn that little light on too. So now you know if your little Ryobi power supply goes out, first thing to check is that fuse inside. And obviously you have to have a soldering iron to put the new one in place. That's it. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.